Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to set up an Omni tool using tool areas and map class variables. I added a new room with an Omni tool, an Omni tool insert slot, and two doors with Omni tool panels. Let's take a look at the Omni tool object. It's an entity of the tool type. Let's select it and take a look at the tool tab. Here we can see some settings and a few callbacks. Let's generate the pickup, use and can be used callbacks and then paste them into code light. Now before we start scripting, let's take a better look at the room and configure some entities. I added tool areas near the panels and the Omni tool slot. In each tool area you'll have to paste the name of your tool. In this case it is Omni tool. Now let's take a look at the Omni tool slot. We can see it has its own special tab. Using the attached tool text box you can make it so that the Omni tool is already attached when loading the map, but let's not use that. We can check detached allowed here, but we'll be modifying that through script. We can also connect lamps that signal if the Omni tool is connected or if it is ready to be detached. I also added the button near the Omni tool slot. Let's name it state change callback to try to update and then copy it into code light. Let's also set the button to automatically switch off after 2 seconds and disable the player's ability to manually switch it off. Now that we have the room set up, I will explain what we are going to do with scripting. We will set up the door panel so that one can be opened with the Omni tool at any time and the other will only be openable if you place the Omni tool in the Omni tool slot and press the button to update it. The button will only update the Omni tool if it is inserted in the Omni tool slot. Let's get started with scripting this. First we will want to set up the Omni tool can be used callback to determine what the tool can be used on. This is called when the player is holding a tool in his hand after entering a tool area. The script will get the entity the player is looking at and then return a boolean value to determine if the interaction is possible. The parameters for this function are as tool, which is the name of the equipped tool, and as entity, which is the name of the entity that's being looked at. We only need to check if the entities that are being looked at are the panels or the Omni tool slot. If they are, then the function will return true, otherwise we will have the default false return value. So get the entity names and write the if statements and return true for each of them. In order to use the other callbacks we are going to need two boolean variables declared inside the map class. They are going to be omnitool updated and omnitool inserted and they will both have the false value as default. Now let's take a look at the unuse function. This is called after interacting with an entity if the tool can be used on it. Normally the tool is removed after interaction, but in this case, removing the Omni tool will not make sense. To override this behavior we have to set the return value to false. But keep in mind that if you want to have a tool only be used once, then you must leave it at true. The parameters for this function are the tool's name and the name of the entity that's being interacted with. Let's create some if statements for each entity that can be interacted with. We can always interact with the first panel, so we're simply going to use the cast tool use on panel function, passing on the tool and entity parameters. To use this function, we have to make sure that we included the helper custom depth file at the start. For the second panel we will want to use the tool, but then also create another if statement to check if the Omni tool was updated by using the boolean variable we declared. If the variable is false, then we will use the Omni panel access denied function on the panel.
For the Omni tool slot, we will use the cast tool insert function with the tool and entity parameters. We will also have to remove the tool from the player's inventory and we'll set our Omni tool inserted variable to true. Also, once we updated the Omni tool, we will want to be able to detach it if we put it in the Omni tool slot again. So let's add an if statement and set the tool to be allowed to be detached using the cast tool allow detach function on the tool as a parameter. Now let's edit the on pickup callback. It has the tool's name as a parameter and should return a value of true. Let's make it so that when the player picks up the Omni tool, we set the Omni tool inserted variable to false. Now we only need to script the button that's used to update the Omni tool. The Omni tool will be updated when the button is pressed, so we need the AL state to be 1. First, let's check if the Omni tool is inserted. If it isn't, then we will play a sound and return. Then let's check if the Omni tool has already been updated. If it has, let's simply return and do nothing. Otherwise, we will actually update the Omni tool. To do this, we must set the Omni tool update boolean variable to be true, and also make it so that the player can pick up the Omni tool again. I also chose to play a sound to signal that the Omni tool has been updated. Technically, you could also go a step further with this by requiring a chip or actually changing the Omnitool entity to another one that displays a different AI or security level. Or you could get creative with this in any other way. Now we can test this in dev mode. I will just have a quick look over the code and notice that I forgot to set the variable in the unused function. And also forgot to return false on the can be used function. This can be used for setting up door obstacles or gating the player's progress until certain events happen, or for some other simple tasks like updating or finding tools or tool chips. Other tools are set up in a very similar way, but you won't actually need to use specific functions for them, and can simply return true for the unuse function and then do anything else with scripting. Stay tuned for more HBO3 tutorials.